Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do my update for April for my Panda palette. And as you guys know, I am panning my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, aka my Franken palette, because I changed it up quite a bit for this year. I really want to just knock it out this year and have it gone, not think about it anymore. And I'm on my way. I'm really excited and I'm really, really enjoying the palette. There are a few changes that I want to make by next update that I will fill you in on after we have looked at my progress. I'll insert a picture here what my palette looked like last month. I had five pants and as you can see now, I have six pants. Very excited. It wasn't even a goal of mine to hit pan on another shade, but I did and I'm very excited about it. So let's go through the shades. If I remember something extraordinary about the shade, I will talk about it. A goal of mine this month was to use the greens and I did twice. So I have used this shade twice, the Gilded Ganache uh, shade. I have not used these shades, maybe this one a little bit. Yeah, I used it today actually. Um, to deepen up the look because I didn't want to reach for my Pandos eyeshadows again. Then we come to Salted Caramel, which I had a goal to use it so much that I need to repress it. And I'm actually at that point. So by the next update, it will be repressed. Maybe I can do it today. I don't know. It depends on Natalie's sleep schedule. <laughs> and I have used Marcy Pan quite a bit to expand the pan as well as this shade right here that I use on my brow bone. I have used this one once in one of the green looks. I don't think I have used Amaretto at all. The Essence Snowflake white shade I am using every single day as well. Maybe I'll skip one or twice. Um, but yeah, the new pan is this green one right here. It is a franken shadow of a few blush tribe shades and some of my panda palette from last year. And I'm really excited to say that I've hit pan in two uses and that really surprised me. I knew and know it is a soft shadow, but that it was so soft, I didn't know. Very excited to have pan in that shade because that means it will go quick. I have expanded this shade that I use in my eyebrows every single time and I have maybe used the last shade down here once, if even, I don't know. It was very quick, but the most exciting part is that I have a pan in the green and I am going to repress all the caramel very soon. So I'm really only focusing on the lighter shades. The first time that I used this on my eyes, it became a little muddy, but I do think it was only muddy because it didn't blend it out right. I do like it more after I have repressed a little bit of this green into Gilded Ganache when I prep my palette for this year because it turned more green. That's life, that's okay. I do think I will just keep on going with the green and purple orangey neutral looks that I have on today because that is what is really inspires me right now. It's what goes well with my color story in my panel side shadow, so that is what I'm going with. And maybe I can really use some of these bronzy emeraldo shades in the summertime and fall time and knock them out then. So, I really want to focus on the green because it is now here in spring and summer that I need to use it. Yeah, expanding the pans. Maybe I can hit pan on Gilded Ganache. That would be really awesome. I do think... I don't know if I can, but I will try it my, least, my best at least. I'm going to repress Salted Camel and my Brow Bone shade. Maybe I can repress some of this together. But yeah, that one is definitely going to be repressed and my goal is to re-hit pan in the brow bone shade and salted caramel by next update and I do think I can do that. Those are my really quick goals and update and everything like that. The changes that I want to make other than that repressing is I'm going to remove these two shades. I don't like them, I don't want to use them, I actually dread using them. Um, so I, I don't enjoy them, they are just too dry and patchy and I don't really show up and I have so many other really dark beautiful shades in my collection and those are just not cutting it. So let's see if I am going to franken some of this one because it is it is not the most beautiful bronze that I have so maybe I can 
put something in it. I have some really brown bronzy highlighter that maybe will go well with this one because yeah maybe just some thoughts but i'm going to remove these two so that will be two empty pads my next update maybe i have filled them out with something else to help me go through this giant shade right here but i'm, I'm i don't know those are my thoughts for this palette and for the next update just to recap i want to use and hit pan in Gilded Ganache. I want to repress and re hit pan in Salted Caramel and my brow bone shade. That is my very quick pan the palette update. I don't really have that much to talk about other than I hit pan in the green shade and I want to keep focusing on green shades. That is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and here is a dear show something like that. I don't know what it's called. Dear show I think it is called showdown of the looks that i've done this month and if you have any questions for a certain look please let me know down in the comments and i will get back to you otherwise i hope you guys are going to take care also my next video and please follow me on instagram if you don't already i post a lot and if you want to see my baby girl she will be there as well so i hope you guys are doing well and until next time take care